In this video, I'm going to show you how you can batch resize images in Photoshop. Hey guys, my name is Scott and I make full and mini tutorials like this one on Photoshop, Premiere, and videos on freelancing tips, so please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those. And if you have any suggestions for future videos you'd like to see on Photoshop, jump down to the comment section below and let me know. Okay, let's get into how we can batch resize images in Photoshop. So I have a bunch of images here, and they're all different sizes, but I'd like to make them all the same size. So instead of going one by one through each image and having to resize them individually, which would be very time consuming, I can create an action in Photoshop that will batch resize each image automatically. This is great for when you've gone on a trip, or you have some kind of photo shoot and you've got hundreds of images that you need to go through and you want to resize them all at the same time. The first thing we'll want to do is create an action and we can do that by going over to the actions window and if you don't see the actions window just go up to window and make sure that actions is checked. Okay so within this window there are some pre-set up actions that you can use in Photoshop like adding sepia tone or gradients to images but in our case we'll want to create a custom action. So now I'm going to go down to the bottom of the window and click the folder icon to create a new folder. I'm going to call this folder batch resize. From here, I'll go right next to the folder icon and select the square with a plus sign in it, which creates a new action. I'll name this action image resize 1920 px for the width of the image size that I want to create. Now you can name this whatever you like. I usually name it something that has to do with the action so that later when I look at it, I can remember what it is. So the way that this works is, is when I hit the record button, Photoshop is actually going to record my movements and my next steps, which will be mainly resizing this one image. And then it will save that as a preset action. So the next time I open up images, I can just hit this resize image 1920px action and it will automatically do it without having to go through all the other steps. Okay, now that I've hit record, I'm going to go up to image and then to image resize. And then next, I'll want to change the width to 1920 pixels. So the rest of this looks good, so I'm going to hit OK. Next, I'm going to go up to File and hit Save. This will also make sure that the action records is saving the image so that the image automatically saves where I want them to when I run the batch action. So I'm going to select the preset up folder that I have on my desktop and select OK. Now when I go back to my actions window and hit the stop record button, which is the square next to the red circle, that will stop recording my movements in Photoshop. Now you can see the steps that I did, which was image resizing and then saving. So the next step is to start the batch automation process, but before we do that, I'd suggest that you keep all the images that you want to batch resize together in a folder somewhere that is easy to access. It just makes the whole process much easier that way. Okay, so now I'm going to go up the file and then down to automate, and then I'm going to select batch. Now a dialog box should come up, and the first thing we'll want to make sure is selected is the set action, which should be pointing to the batch resize folder we just created. And then the action should be set to the recorded action we just created, which is image-1920px. Next, we'll tell Photoshop which folder we want to batch resize from, which is the folder that has all my original images in it. Now we'll go over to the top right of this dialog box and select the folder that we want our new images to save to. So I'll select that pre-setup folder I have on my desktop. And then lastly, we'll want to select the overwrite action, save as commands. This will ensure that Photoshop automatically saves during the batch process. Before I hit okay, I'm just going to bring up the empty new folder so you can see how Photoshop populates it as it batch resizes the images. Now that I have the folder up, I'm going to select okay and that's it. Photoshop will start batch resizing and we can see the folder getting new images as it saves each one. Once the batch resizing is done, I can go back and check on each image to make sure that it's the right size. And it worked perfectly. So that's how you can batch resize images in Photoshop. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button and feel free to share this with anyone else who might also enjoy it. For more information on Photoshop, Premiere, and freelancing tips, head on over to my website at scottedwardfowler.com and visit my Twitter page at Scott E. Fowler. Also, be sure to check out my other tutorial videos which I posted on the right side of the screen here. Alright, that does it for me guys, see you in the next video.